In this video, I'm going to talk about budgeting for corporation tax and I'm going to show you some tips, especially if you're using zero. As we know, for every limited company in the UK, they will have corporation tax to pay and that's usually around nine months after your year end date. So it makes sense to not wait until the corporation tax is due, but to have an idea what will be due to be paid and to keep that money aside. You want to have an idea of what your corporation tax charge is going to be. So how do you do that? Well, first of all, you want your zero account to be up to date and you want your figures in zero to be accurate. So then your starting point would be to look at your profit and loss account in zero. Look at your profit and loss account for the year and then from that try to work out what your corporation tax charge will be. Talk to your accountant, they might be able to give it to you. If you're not able to do that, then at least make your own estimate. So get familiar with corporation tax rules, understand what's allowed and what's disallowed for corporation tax purposes. Let's head into Zero and take a look at one of my demo companies estimating our corporation tax charge and putting the money aside before it's due for payment. Okay, we're in our Zero account and our starting point is we're going to go and look at the profit and loss account for the year. Now you might want to be doing this for less than a year to budget during the year, but I'm going to look at a full year. So we're going to look at the financial year, which is May 23 to April 24. Now we want an accurate profit and loss account, and we're going to scroll down to the bottom of that, and we're going to see what our profit is before tax. It's 69,000 pounds. That's our accounting profit, and then we need to adjust that to work out what our taxable profit is. If you want to know the rules for getting to taxable profit, there's a few suggestions I can make. Talk to your accountant, go online, go on HMRC, learn the rules for calculating corporation tax. Now, I'm not going to say it's straightforward. It definitely isn't. That's why you should talk to a professional. But if you can't, at least look at your own estimate. So here's our profit for the year. What you'll notice is we don't have any depreciation. If we had depreciation, we would need to add that back because instead of depreciation, what's allowable is capital allowances based on the expenditure you've made. So we're going to look at our profit and it's £69,000. But what we can see is we've actually spent £1,000 entertaining clients for the year and we know that that's not allowable. So our taxable profit is going to be 69,000, adding back a thousand pounds, so a very easy figure to look at, 70,000 pounds. So now we need to work out what our tax is going to be. The tax rates in the UK start at 19% if your profits are below 50,000, and then it goes on a sliding scale after that, profits from 50,000 to 250,000, your rate of corporation tax will increase from 19% up to 25%. What you can do is you can go to the HMRC website and you can actually calculate the tax. So I'm on this page here, I'll put a link to it and you scroll down and you say, right, I'm going to start. I'm going to put in my year and we're looking at May 23 through to April 24. We know our profit is 70,000, the same as their example. We're making life very easy. We're going to continue. We can say no to the next two questions, so there's no distributions and there's no associated companies. So a very straightforward example. And then we just go to calculate marginal relief, which means reducing the tax from 25% based on what your profits are. And if we scroll down, we can see that our corporation tax liability is £14,800. If we keep scrolling, we can also see that our effective tax rate is 21%. So we knew it would be above 19 and we knew it would be below 25. So in future years, if your profits are similar, you could actually just say, well, I'm going to estimate my corporation tax at 21%. That would be an idea for you. We're going to head back into zero and we're going to enter that corporation tax charge. We're going to do that in a manual journal. So we're going to go to accounting, manual journals, we're going to choose new journal. We're dating at our year end date 
and we know the figures because we've got them from HMRC, we know that the corporation tax due is £14,800. If we go back to our profit and loss account, if we update the profit and loss account, and if we scroll down, we can now see we've got our corporation tax charge. So we've got profit before tax, our tax charge and profit after tax. Now I will say that we did have to edit our layout to get corporation tax in the right place because originally it was sitting in the admin costs. I have got some videos that show you how to do that. So we now know that our corporation tax due is £14,800. If we go to our dashboard, we can see that we do have money in our bank account. We've got money available to pay that. But how will we set it aside? Now, often there's a suggestion that you set up a new bank account and move the funds. Maybe that's not that easy to do. So this is what I would do instead if you don't have another bank account. I would actually create a dummy bank account in Zero. So we're going to go to accounting. I'm going to go to the chart of accounts and I'm going to say add a bank account. If I scroll down, I will see if I go to the 600 codes, that's the one I use. Here's the current account, 601 and 602 have been used. So I'm going to set up account 603. So I'm going to say add bank account and it's asking for a bank. So I'm just going to say something that doesn't actually exist and then add without a bank feed. I can continue. And this part is actually quite irrelevant because it's not a real bank, but the account name is important. So I'm going to say bank saving for corporation tax. Account type I have to choose, so I will say other. Account number it needs, so I'm going to just put some figures in here. Account code, this is the account code in zero, so we decided it will be 603 and then we can say add account. Now when we go back to our dashboard, if we scroll down we can see we've got a bank account saving for corporation tax but there's nothing there. So the next step I'm going to suggest is transferring money into that account. Now this is not a real transfer, it's simply in zero. So we're going to say create a new transfer money. We're going to say we want to take money from the current account, we're going to move it to the bank account. We're going to choose our year end date and we need to remember the figure, it's 14,800 pounds. So what does that do? When we go back to our dashboard, it saves us creating a real account, but what we will actually see that the balance in zero, and that's what's important because that's what we're saying is available, not the statement balance, we know it will be different, but the balance in zero has now been reduced and now we see that we have funds sitting in this pot. So it's not a real bank account, but in zero we have moved the funds so then we can see what's available, what's left in zero, not what's actually in our bank. So that's my tip for budgeting for your corporation tax in zero. Then when you come to make the payment nine months later, you transfer the money back and obviously the payment would be made from the real account, from the current account to HMRC. I hope you find the video useful. Remember, I'm available for one-to-one -one coaching and if you get fed up doing your own bookkeeping in zero, why don't you take a look at our website and see if we're currently taking on bookkeeping clients. But until next time, until the next video, happy zeroing.